Well, hello everybody, welcome back hi. to Chronic Pain Show 117. Pain I'm Avatopia, the one saying hi, just a bit of a tiffy, and he's doing the little one, Gary, making his way to the entrance. I can say my own name, thank you. And we're going to do a big credits before this opening match. Here they are. And Ivan will be uh, here in a sec, I believe. Well, hello there, and welcome to Avatopia's Wrestling Domination. This is Chronic Pain Show 117. My name is Pro Wrestling X, currently in early access on Steam where you can buy it, as you can see from the link on the screen. Me, Ivatopia, and my wife, who's going to be helping out with this, have nothing to do with the game other than buying it and playing it and enjoying it. And I'd also like to add the opening music you can hear right now is from the title screen of the Pro Wrestling X game itself. Hope you enjoy this show. I've a really here making matches tonight. It's going to be Gary vs. Oval, it's going to be their physical match. It's hardcore, by the way. She fans are going to love it. After the second match, I didn't get to make it, so it's me taking on Bright the Best. Hopefully, Ty won't try to screw me again. Anyway, I'll be ready for you if you do. And as for the main event tonight, that's going to be Grasshopper. We'll defend the IW World title tonight against someone I believe deserves opportunity. So it's up to him to gr grab that brass ring and run with it. Tiger, baby, it's your opportunity tonight. Don't let me down. And by the way, it's Reaver time like normal. Well, so we've got Gary Overlord opening match. This should be good. Hmm. The main event sounds good, and, and Ivan, power, I guess, Tower made his match against Bryce. And we're speaking of Gary, we're going to him in the back in a second. As he gets a Ken down, oh, across his head. And in the back, it's pure cutter, by the way. Well, like obviously, because he's out here. Oh, well, yeah, the lesser two Garys are that scary. Whoa. That could be. Here comes a sharpshooter, and let's go to back. Nice twin. Let's PP view. Let's PP view. Let's PP view. I was not physically beaten, yet it still goes down as a loss. <laughs> the thing is, it just made me more angry, more determined to get back to the top. And with my rematch clause for the IWD Extreme title and the next PP view, PP view, pay per view, I will decimate Happy Man and regain the Extreme Championship belt. The fun and games are over. Just insane pain is coming your way, happy man. And tonight is nothing but a preview. Sorry for whoever is facing me tonight in the opening match. I'm not even luck. I'm just going to make a sample out of you. And tonight when I finish, you'll be nothing more than a speck on the mat of the insane madness as it has run over you and run backwards and over you and backwards and over you and that's exactly what's going to happen as a preview to you happy man at the next PP view and guess what I'm also entering the elimination match so it's going to be the fight of the whole rest of me <laughs> wow it seems uh, oh, you can tap on switch and tap them. It seems Gary said he's making a example out of it. I like the fact when he goes, I'm going to give you pain or something, uh, or, or something on that lines. He ended up sparing him and cut And basically, he hit him with such velocity in the gut, he actually spit blood up, you know, in the corner there with Overlord. And this is basically so angry of a happy man that's, in his eyes, cheating him at the title, that he's going to basically destroy him. And Overlord, he didn't even care who it was, he annoyed Overlord. He's going to be a spec, and then he oh, entered the elimination match, and the winner will uh, obviously enter Connie's free main event. I don't think Jerry's ever going to be happy. Well, I think he was happy when he was the champ. That's how he gets happy. Oh, he was happy, though. He was happy, man. <laughs> so he'll, he's going to get happy man at the pay-per-view, actually. <laughs> so he'll get happy then, won't he? <laughs> You're not very punny. I'm not. I'm amazingly punny. But he's taken to Overlord, and earlier we heard Ivan... I don't know... What, oh, what spear? What's your thoughts? Uh, uh, obviously, you're with him, so you know this better. He, he felt like, because obviously he just lost the Aces World title at this pay-per-view uh, yesterday. Uh, I felt he, he ignored that section, but you could tell in his voice it was eating at him a little bit. What, what's your thoughts? Well, yeah, it's going to eat at him. And the thing is, he didn't just lose it, he was screwed out of it. He was in a submission. Tower comes out, referee, I don't care if he's tapping or not, just ring the bell. And basically, Teddy submitted, and he didn't. And then he said, restart the match with the final two, the Bull and Striker. And then he, then the Bull cheated. He was biting Striker's head, and the Bull is huge. He was gnawing on his head. The referee was going, one, two, three, you know, he gets to five, he's qualified. Tower comes out, uh, 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 whatever you do, do not disqualify him. 
This is allowed. And just let it go. So the ref stopped his car while he was talking. So technically that should be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then eventually he came back to him and then the ball released it. But to me, you just gnawed on it for 10, 15 seconds. The amount of blood loss he had lost. There's no wonder not long after that that Stryker fell to the ball. So and he was screwed too. Oh well, yeah, they both were. The tower's just nothing but a big bully. I mean, so you got to be careful because he's too technically a commissioner. Well, also, Ivan is, but if he gets in there with decision first, Ivan can't reverse it. Just like if Ivan gets in one first, he can't reverse it. Speaking of, anyway, a big tall dude, the Overlord pre-recorded in the back. Let's see what we had to say because I don't think he expected to get hammered by Gary like this. You know, he's been coming back the Overlord. Tonight is the night that I will lord it over Gary, and Gary will basically feel my wrath. And guess what? You will be going to ER. You talked about it on the back before this match began. What? I'm going to be a speck. <laughs> I'm in the giant in this match, little man. You're already a speck to me. Remember that. Well, no offense, but I feel that speck's been watching Ant Man and Wasp recently because that speck's been the living hell out of the giant. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> Because our knave's tiny, but they have the full strength still. That's why he works out. <laughs> oh, but the giant's coming back now. And power driver on the steel people. And steel people oh, blah, blah. can do mighty things. Yeah, especially Gary, of all people. Like I said, that's why he's so unpredictable. You don't know if he's going to come at you full pelt and throw you around like he, he's a muscle man. You don't know if he's going to come at you and basically do high flying moves. You don't know if he's going to basically bite you, low blow you. You never know, you don't know if he's going to throw his body off the, off the stage for no reason. And that's why he's so unpredictable. And you basically, he hasn't messed some matches up for doing that. He's done it and someone's counted him. But that they've got to basically be in the toes all the time and have quick reactions. Or have a lot of luck on the side <laughs> for it to work. Like that! He just dragged the suplex him head first into the steel and I think hit the metal uh, bar, didn't he? The tubing keeping the fence up. See, like now, why not pin him? This is a hardcore match. But, he, but he's climbing up here. So you know what I'm talking about? You don't see Gary that often, but when he does, wow. It's amazing. Yeah, spectacular even. Astonishing. Peter Parker. What? I thought we were listing um, Spider-Man titles. Oh, look at this. It's wow. Submission. You've got Marvel on the brain. He tonight. tapped, he tapped, he tapped. The little man made him tap. Okay, tell us when the match replays before we go to the back to listen to Tiger. <laughs> And there's Gary with the kendo as he smacks Overlord. Uh, did they can oh. Did they can what? You must be talking through these. <laughs> Sorry, you know I'm bad at these. And that, what was that most called? Power driver. Power driver. And then here's a great moonsault from Gary. And then here's where Overlord taps. Okay, you definitely practice with this. Anyway. I'm a little bit rusty. The next Leave me match alone. is Ivan Reaver and Bryce. The best, a regular match, we hope. Oh, obviously, last week, Tyler was changing it on the fly. Tyler was changing it on the fly again. We'll find out in a minute, but first we're going to listen to the Tiger. What's he got us? Well, he's made a bit tonight, could be World Champ. We'll find out, as I say. Like you say. The King of the Jungle is ready for the opportunity that Ivan Reaver is given tonight. I will take that title with all my paws, all my claws. Anyone who tries to get in my way will feel these claws, will feel these teeth. That is you, Grasshopper. At the end of the day, you are grass. You are eaten by a herbivore. I'm a carnivore. I'm the King of the Jungle. You're going to be nothing compared to me tonight. guess that's one way to look at it. I Basically. thought apes were King of the Jungles. No, it's actually lions. Lions are... Well, he's always said he's a tiger and he's the true king when he first debuted, remember? But anyway, I said that was a unique way of looking at it, though. Basically, you're a grasshopper, so you're just a bit of grass. Herbivores eat you. I'm the king of the jungle, so I hunt herbivores. <laughs> so in other words, when the food chain is, you don't have a chance. Let's see if it comes true tonight, as I'm with a beautiful jockey to Bryce, the best here. Bryce has been quite well recently. He's got a few good victories, like I think at the pay-per-view he got one other cracker. I thought King Kong was king of the jungle. No, King Kong was the king of, um, oh, what was it called, the... The jungle! No, the island! Um, Skull Island! Wasn't it? Skull Island he was, remember. I thought he was also king of the jungle. No, of his Skull Island. They basically, the people in this room, I was like, God! Goes line! And then, of course, they had a big, big fight with Godzilla. It's pretty awesome. They kind of tied. 
Godzilla went in the water and left. King Kong got up and walked off, and everyone thought King Kong won. And here's Bryce the Best in the back because he's out here and this is pre recorded. Yeah, obviously, like you did to me earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here's here he is. I am the best in the world. I'm the best at what I do. I am better than everybody else. That's why I'm called Bryce the Best. Basically, I'm perfection. And guess what? Ivan, you're not. You're nothing but a loser. And. I will destroy you tonight. Yes, you managed to take, with my help, heavily my help, I'd add, my brother out of this company, out of this business. The thing is, if it wasn't because of me, that would never even happen, and he would be here beating the living hell out of you, since he's the biggest loser in the world, and I'm so much better. And if he can beat you, it's simple mathematics that I'm going to destroy you tonight, because I am the best at what I do, because I am bright, the best. Remember that, as you get another L in the column, and I get another win for me. Bryce has got to stop complaining about his brother all the time. He sounds like a broken record. Yeah, the little, one thing like I was saying before, oh he's bleeding. I wasn't saying that before because he wasn't, but he was getting some good wins. He did beat Griffin at the pay-per-view and he has been pulling a couple of wins out here and there. What are you doing? Your phones fell off. Pick him up, pick him up. Hi, Caramba. Oh, shishi, you. Hey, Caramba. You look like you've own. never had malfunctions before. Anyway. Uh, like back, back to this match, I would call him outside the ring now. That's the only thing we should talk about. What? Uh, your feelings at Ace Pay-Per-View. You got dragged from the announce table by Tower, who tried to beat the hell out of you. And then uh, Gwen came to help you, then I believe Jess came out to help him. Then, was it Happy Man came out to help, and then he forced Tanya out, and then you had a match, and unfortunately you three lost. Mm. So what's your thoughts on that? Well, first really... off, it wasn't a very fair match, considering I was beaten up well before then. Yeah, because he dragged you from the house table by your hair. That hurt. You didn't even have your wrestling gear on. You made a street fight. I think the only time we've ever seen you in the ring like that. Oh, let's out! Oh, so close. There's the time when you you went over there and attacked Gwen and dragged her in the middle of the indie area. You, you basically were in your street clothes. It's the only time we've seen you wrestle in that. You know, again, that was an official match. And I'm surprised that Gwen's still with Tower after that. Oh, yeah, because he basically gave her a beating during that match. And she did kind of turn, what kind of turned on him by trying to help you. Oh, look at right. Turn on him. She was defending her friend. Yeah, I know, but she had to defend him by going against, defend you by going against him. So she kind of turned on him in that sense. So you didn't want. Oh, what the st stick broke face. Ivan down. Tower. What the fudge? He's in the ring. Seriously, Tower. What, what the? That's disqualification. Oh, believe he's getting. The, uh, he's asking for the mic. Now, right. now we gotta listen to him talk. See what he says, he's got a Christmas tree. Can we Referee, do not call for a bell. This match is now a hardcore match. And he cut you off, he's made a hardcore match, hence this is now legal. Can we skip him from now on? That's what you just tried to say, that he would cut, cut over you. <laughs> That's why he was like, can we? And then he just interrupted. Boom! Oh, he's destroying Ivan. He interrupts everything. Where's Bryce going? Probably back to the ring. Got no clue, but he's getting hammered. Drunk into the face! Bryce probably doesn't want anything to do with it, and if he was smart, he'd stay out of it. Mike, you know what? Let me get a triple threat match as well. Redemption. Can he do uh, that? Well, apparently so! And then comes the Baron, I guess he's the one he's entering it. Oh, I thought it was himself. No, apparently Baron, the tower's gone to the back. So this is a hardcore triple threat now. Oh, Bryce is coming back now. Well, it is triple threat. Even though it gets on the fly. Now, the good is it's kind of handicapping, but Bryce is doing the right thing here. We're going to back to listen to a pre recorded message from Ivan. Obviously, this is what he thought of him this Bryce before this happened. Let go to him now. Okay, so I need a little bit delusional from the, from here. Get, get it in there. I need a little bit of egomaniac. Get it in there. I need a little bit of a guy who's not that good but thinks he's 20 times on this side than he actually is. I need a bit in there. Oh, oh where, where's that thing? Oh, where's that jealousy thing? Yeah, the jealousy from my older brother. I need that. Yeah, let's get some of that in there. Yeah, yeah. Let's stir it up. What do we get? It sa says it, 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 it says here the recipe is supposed to be the best. But it's actually turned out very bad. In other words, it's the worst. That's right. I just created a Bryce the worst. And just like everything else in this particular recipe book, uh, it needs to be thrown away in the, the nearest bin because it's a load of rubbish. Because it ain't your time. It is Reaver time tonight, Bryce. Remember that. The sad thing is, I think Ivan would have been right if it wasn't turned a hardcore match out of nowhere. And oh, he wasn't thrown off the stage like that with that giant sweep with Baron. It wasn't made into a triple threat too. Baron's the one that did it though. It wasn't Bryce. That's what I'm saying. What, what Ivan said. This I think is how he was going to throw Bryce away and win. I think would would have happened. What I'm getting at. Two. 
He kicked out. Oh, there goes that barbed wire Christmas tree. Ow. Get in again. Shouldn't I get rid of those by now? Well, I don't know. Yeah, well, I guess we we'll keep them for what, another five months. Well, oh, he just threw into, into the steel. That's amazing. It threw It'll be out. Christmas again. Yeah, I think it's to do with the um, fact that Tower's kind of taken over and, and it's run time, so they've passed it over and he's, he just kind of kept the stocks. He doesn't really care. Is this coming up in the back? Oh, no, I think it's Tower again. Oh. I think it's time to spice it a bit more lower the cage. This is now a triple threat cage match. Redemption. Wow, boss. Why do you set a cage up? Well, let me be the first to say you're doing a good job of commissioner. You know, I think he's messing around and stuff. Like, he could handle it with, with the champ that runs the camp. You know, as a co-champion. Because I was the leader. And that's what upset him the most. And he now, he now he's co-commissioner theoretically. He can't handle that. And as for tonight, making the match against Tiger. Why is Tiger got shot? Tiger doesn't deserve There's your opportunity at this goal. But the thing is, I am the champ that runs the camp. And I will take on any comers. So you're lucky that I will embarrass you tonight, Tiger. I will destroy you tonight. And I'll prove once again why I am the champ. Now we have a cage. Oh, seriously, Adam was climbing in the cage to start the match. And they just attacked him before he got in. They lowered the cage while they were at the interview. I were in the back then. Both of them climbed in, and then Ivan was climbing because he has to or get in it before he can win, climb out, and Baron just took him off the top and almost won it straight away. Ay, caramba. Grasshopper or can just shove it? Well, he's defending like tile against earlier. Well, well, not earlier, later, sorry. You know what? I hope that Ivan interferes with his match. He does all nothing. this crap to him. There might not be nothing left of him at the end of this match, unfortunately. So we saw off. say that! I said, unfortunately, we started off as a one-on-one, -on -one, Ivan versus Bryce, and I think Ivan had it in the bag. No offence to Bryce, he's a good star, but he's, he's just not Ivan's level. And that's why he did all that stuff he had to before, to get to the top, and why he's so jealous of his brother. And then we, it became a hardcore match as Tower attacked Ivan, what should have been an instant DQ, but he's do not get the, do not call for the belt, this is now hardcore. So, that, so he should have beat Bryce right there and then. And then he decides to make it a triple threat, and Baron attacks him. And then, this, then after that, it now it's a cage, and as it, he's the at the back, he, uh, he runs to get in, starts to climb the top, gets knocked off, almost gets pinned instantly. Oh, look at that, he's flying through the air. Oh, the Baron down. The fresh is the Baron. And wait until Tower is no longer Commissioner. Oh yeah, because I have a Super Commissioner too, but he, he's technically in the ring actively wrestling. <laughs> oh, it's a race. He's going to make it. Not no Ivan. One. And not Bryce. Oh. Is he going to hit Ivan away? Oh no, he's going to shadow him. Oh, we're going to Von Kahn, back. Wait, hey, what is he saying? Right here, right now. He comes to count. He's Von, by the way. After being screwed so many times, I let my actual opportunity that Ivan gave me slip through my fingertips at the last pay-per-view. And I could sit here, and I could complain, I could whine, and I could basically be like that idiot Bryce if I want, but I'm not. I'm moving forward. And that's the last you're going to hear about that from me. Because the thing is, I've been looking at my crystal ball of late, and you know what Von Kahn's future holds? It's basically at the next pay-per-view, uh, World Domination. There will be an elimination match. The winner of that will go on to the main event of Carnage 3. And my future holds me winning that event, going to main event Carnage 3, coming to World Champion and getting whatever else I win in that process. And you know why? Because you could count on that. Can Vaughn count really count? I wonder how high he can count. Very high. But how do you know? Have you asked him? Okay, whatever. I get on to what he was talking about. He's just entered the elimination match himself, just like Gary did earlier. And if Can he... they do that? What do you mean? Yeah. Every wrestler's allowed in. The only people are who's in the main event that night. They only want to abandon from the match. So currently, that's Grasshopper. Because he's the champ. Like I didn't last... know they could do that. Yeah. Like last year, uh, the stream champion can enter and his opponent, but the world champ and his opponent, or opponent, can't. But well, obviously, if they don't want to enter... Oh! Bryce! Byron stopped him, I think Bryce is going to win! Ivan, run! Climb for your life! He's going to make it, but he's making sure Byron's going for a fly anyway. Oh! You know, he didn't have to knock Byron down then, but he did it just as... And like, he's staring at Bryce. Aye, Karumba. So this wasn't a fair match, though. No, it wasn't. And Byron stopped him getting over there. That was a good snake eyes there from Ivan. Yeah, they cut him yeah. open. That beautiful Pele, Pele kick. kick. This is when the match was a proper match, and this is where it turned to hell and back. That's where Tower came out. Yeah, and now he's got a sharpshooter, he ends up making a triple threat of over in the Baron. 
And, and this is what the Baron spears Ivan. Yeah, so it's like it's coming from all sides. And this 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 move itself could end it there. What it's was that called? The dragon suplex. And this is when Ivan was trying to get in the ring as the cage was lowered, and Baron made sure he couldn't and went straight for a pin. Almost won it again. You know, you know like, like him getting the ring. You know, keeping the pressure up. But Ivan kicked out at this point. And in a way, maybe if he lost then, it would have been made. It would have been better for him. If he would have took this such a beating later on. So there's Ivan going down again. And that's where Bryce goes over. Yeah. The Baron's trying to be, oh, he slams into the cage as well. See this here, look he's climbing. The Baron could, could stop him, but he stopped Ivan from stopping him. Now look, he should go and stop him, shouldn't he? No, but he but kicks he's Ivan. Busy kicking Ivan. And then he leaves him. So he knew Bryce was going to win. Otherwise, why did he not run over and stop Bryce? He was he obviously in there. He that. Yeah, he obviously, Tower said, get Ivan a beat and make it triple threat, but you know, help Bryce win it. And that's where Ivan, Made sure that got, the bear on. Yeah, got a little bit of revenge. So then they open well, not the opening, the main event tonight. Of course, Grats up then Tiger. Tiger's got a big opportunity. And then these two Hopefully, used, Tiger wins. Yeah, these two used to be uh, in the same group, remember? You, you know, uh, TJ's uh, Clipford group. Even though uh, he came near the end, Tiger did. He that was the before fifth my member. time. Yeah. Grats up was, was had won his first title during that group as the extreme champion. I don't like Grass Hopper. He's a mean. He's making his entrance now, the crowd, the crowd are uh, uh, shouting. You see that sign over there, that purple one? That's what it say. I think I noticed it at the pay-per-view. It said something about, uh, uh Stu has got a great body or something, and marry me. Aww! And there's someone, I think there's one over there about, uh, uh, uh Gwen, saying that we, we need her or something, hire her or something. Aww! These people are just so sweet. There's some other ones. Yeah, but they seem a lot of Do you think I have a good body? Oh, well, we've seen a lot of it when you were forced to have nothing on out here a lot, and I guess well, when you had nothing on, it was good. Better than now, because you got all this stuff on it. Just take oh it off again. Oh, God. Yes, take it off. No! We want puppies. Go on, crowd. We want puppies. We want puppies. Oh, we shut want up. puppies. See, the crowd wants it too. Look at them all cheering. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, go, crowd. See? See what about? They want puppies. Speaking of puppies, don't get near Tiger, he might slash and dice them with his claws before he eats them. Because nah, 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 nah. he's the king of the jungle, as he says. I don't think he's a cannibal. Uh, king of the jungle, because he says he's a tiger. That is you not a puppy. You said don't get my puppies near him, because he'll slice and dice them and eat them. Okay, you don't that I... would be cannibalism. No, not if they're actual puppies. He's an actual tiger. Look, I'm using the... You're using the actual puppy puppy. Yes, and he's an actual tiger tiger. Carolus went, show your head like, Loo! Wait, what did I just say then? Loo! That's what it was like to you. Loo! Shut up. Okay, anyway, grasshopper. You were just talking about my puppies and then you talked about real cute puppies. You know what I meant? See, what was it called? A euphemism or something? It's probably the wrong term, but... I don't know. And this match underway. Oh, he cuts it out of the He like, he flew in, graceful of the thing, he's like, screw it, down. <laughs> and he just dropped on his head and down. This is a good stop for Tiger, not a good stop for the champ. This camp might be getting a little uh, wet and destroyed here and soggy. With, with this Tiger in it. And a bit panicky. And again! Oh, ooh, that was RKO. a really good RKO. RKO, people. What are you doing here? He's... Ooh. What was that move? I've gone blank. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did something to his neck. <laughs> I didn't normally say what the move is. I've gone blank. Oh, Head take down or something. Leave me alone. <laughs> Get life from coming back from Japan after that, uh, that big PV we did last week. Not last week, yesterday. I can remember. Oh, good lord, you needed some sleep. I told you I'm jet lagged. I'm laggy jetted. Jetty laggied. Means I'm really, really tired. Drop kick. And he was open. He managed to hook his arms up before the drop kick. That's a good move by uh, uh, Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Yeah, I was going to say Crusher Hopper. Grasshopper. Crusher Hopper. Is that Grasshopper and Crusher's <laughs> love child? Yeah, they were on a date last week. I'm sure they were. <laughs> I mean, it could have been just a, 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 grass, a kid with a Grasshopper mask with somebody. But whatever. A kid with Grasshopper? What? What? Okay, Tiger's uh, oh, giving him a lovely kick to the back. Not lovely for the Grasshopper because it's obviously his lower back causes him a lot of pain. What could cause him to get tired? Because he could lose the match and lose his title. Brainbuster! His brains were busted. But he managed to keep in somehow because there's not blood everywhere. Oh, not beautiful. Brain brain. Juices either. Oh, that, the kick was a little low. Oh, is it that a bit groiny area kick? <laughs> that kind of look. 
Oh, we're going to the back. I believe Striker's in the building. Let's see what Striker's got to say. We're going to in a second now. Isn't he our owner now? Yep, the owner. That and sounded I've... wrong. What? He's our owner. Like, we're his pets. Well, you, you, you'll have two puppies as a pet, I guess. That fit. Hey! At the showstopper, the guy who brings ratings in, the current editor, the owner, the fact that I won last week, I was still not included on this show. That's ridiculous. And I still haven't had a reply from Ivan. I haven't had a reply from, of course, none other than Tower, really accepting my carnage challenge. So, I'm going to go shake things up tonight. And obviously, I could get kicked out of the building because I'm the owner. There's nothing personal, by the way, for you in the ring. Who's Is he going to help? I don't know. Do you mean he's going to shake things up? But nothing personal. Did he do like a splits there when he came out? Maybe. <laughs> Caramba. No, I never noticed his boots. They're really good. Hmm. I believe uh, he goes the same place as Teodor does. I think Teodor wears similar boots. They're that legendary. Yeah, cool. Look, he's whipping him. I guess he's helping Grasshopper. Like you say, it's nothing personal, so I don't think he's helping Grasshopper. Because he wants Grasshopper to win. No, he just wants him to cause havoc. Because he wants Ivan, who's kind of hurt at the moment. You know, we must sort of win then. It, it's kind of hurt at the moment. So, there's a good reason why he's not answering. To answer his challenge. And, of course, he wants Tower, who we know isn't hurt. Can... So. Oh, he make matches? No. But he's, he's challenged them to make the match, to agree to it. So then the match will be made. If they agree. So he can't make matches, but he can interfere in them. Well, yeah, because, he, like he said, technically, he can't be thrown out of the building. He's the owner. Before, Tower would get him thrown out, wouldn't he? Ban him from, 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 from the night. He can't be banned, he's the owner. How do you ban the owner? So he's got a bit more immunity now. Will you stop headphones falling off? What's wrong with you? My head's small. Head's small. Oh, beautiful Pele kick. Straight to the tower and getting the height to hit tower that high up as great agility by Striker. And Grasshopper almost pulled the win off too. This is a shame on Tiger. Striker's screwing him even though it's not personal. Because he wants the attention of Ivan Tower. He wants them to both agree so they both make the match. And with all these stipulations he, he's included for Carnage. And then like we finally have a true winner. The true unified champion. Uh, the, the, the true owner who's on everything. The commission ships on the same person. He can get rid of them, keep them, whatever. You know? We'll finally have, you know, both companies under one leadership. No more just fighting. No more just backstabbing. No more, you know, he owns this, she owns this, he owns this. One person owns it. And this company can finally get in a great direction. Or, or be destroyed for good if I believe it's how it wins everything. Because he kind of doesn't care anyway, and he's just kind of tormenting people. And he's kind of got a little, a few things he has to deal with. I even have an ironclad contract, can't be fired. You have an ironclad contract, I think before I've got the commissionership uh, section. So there's certain people he couldn't get rid of, no matter what. Well, you technically have an ironclad contract. You, uh, he can't fire you as long as he's still commissioner. So to fire you, he has to give it up. Then the next commissioner can fire you. That's how it worked, wasn't it? So technically, Don't give people ideas! No, I'm just saying. So technically, I can fight if you wanted to. Well, we know that ain't gonna happen. I don't know. Oh, win. count out! Wait, Tiger what? Tiger just picked me Grasshopper, but, it, but you he don't won. win the title that way. He won, but he's what still the champion is Grasshopper. But he just beat that the champion. He could should get another shot, because there was really good snake eyes from him. And how... Well, well unfortunately... To me, it should put him in the line for one, but it shouldn't guarantee one. But then again, maybe I don't think it will. Maybe Tower will think it will. Yeah, but he's still one with um, our great owner's interference. Yeah, that makes him more spectacular, but it doesn't guarantee him a shot. It puts him in line, but we'll have to see what the, the commissioner if tonight or tomorrow if even will come out. Here comes Striker. Well, this is part earlier tonight. Oh, yeah, this is the replay. Oh, okay. But you're making it sound like she's coming out again. From Striker. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what I was talking about, the height, to get up there. It says match replays. I don't know the way you said it. But see that amazing move by Grasshopper? Like, all on the line there. But then Tiger's like, screw it. Boom! Power driver. Look, eight. He kicks in nine. Gets in. Grasshopper's like, what the fuck? No! And he tries to get in, but he's one minute. One, uh, one second, second I'm gonna say. Give <laughs> it one minute. Anyway, that, that was incredible. Last like, she wrote for today, folks. Yes. Like, subscribe, and that good stuff, please. Uh, please share and please hit the little bell and share, share, share. I've been having top here. Head announcer and next to me is Super Never Tiffy. I'm Super Never Tiffy, the actual head announcer. I just love Super and believe he's the head announcer. No, she's not. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.